And here's the kayaks. These are all and just, you can just borrow them. See people doing that in the morning. Here's the, uh, the room we're staying in this time. Soul. Why, there I am now. There you are. It's a nice little spot. It's worked out um, handy for uh, raining times, so we can still be outside. And that's the Luna Cottage. We've got places out here on the beach if you want to sit in a lounge. You can play Jenga, Cornhole. That one is, looks pretty much identical to ours. Nice little hangout space. There's some hammocks out here. It's pretty shady uh, midday. And it's just a short little walk right out to the water. You'll notice the lack of people on the beach. That's pretty much any time. There's hardly anybody here. There'll be guests on those lounges, yeah. but <clears throat> yeah, this I took this video in the morning because uh, there's the sunrise. But just just the occasional jogger. The water was calm. We over there, Shibil Mar, where we stayed our first few nights. Look at this Caribbean, just it's mainly just boat wakes right here. Yeah, really calm water. And the, the tracks there that you see from a vehicle, that's the garbage truck that comes through and empties the garbage cans along the way. Basically, a Massey Ferguson tractor. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Towing a trailer, they pile all the garbage into it. It's just, it's just gorgeous. You know, being on the East Coast, the sun rises. Thing and, uh, That's the view from the beach back up to the place. Well, it's just you know, putting the pads on. That's a neighboring resort over there. Really? And, uh, yeah, lots of friendly people staying here. <laughs> That's that. But there you have it. It's beautiful. Let's go look at our room. Here we are at Caribbean Beach. This is our room. Currently, we can't really put everything in there because they're trying to get the AC fixed. But I'm going to show you. We stayed here at this resort last year. We stayed in this little room over here. This time we're staying in Seoul, which is great because it's got a big shot like this. So here's Matthew sitting over here in the lounge chair. It's got a nice porch. It's got the main area really to hang out is the porch. But we've got this nice little bar. There's electricity on the other side. Got the two loungers. See things out there. Let's go inside. Let's show you this. Oops, the can. Here we go. It's a small little room. Oh, it's super quiet. So we have a little bar area. It's like a studio, basically. Nice little double bed. I don't really like king beds because it's harder to snuggle. But these rooms are really lovely. It's got the little mini kitchen area. They usually provide coffee. Um, they have breakfast and stuff here. I went up to check on the ice situation. And then this little, nice little bathroom. Nice big shower. They provided soaps and stuff. Got this cool sink. So, uh, yeah. Ta -da. It's a nice fan. This is actually perfect. So we're set to be here for six nights. We'll probably, like I said, mostly hang out out there. Uh, they provide, they don't provide, but you can get breakfast and lunch. <clears throat> I don't know how late they serve things, but anyway, it's, it's a pretty nice setup. So we're happy. We like this place. And the lady in the, at the desk today remembered us. Mr. Matt, she said. There you go. So here was the board when we got here, and you notice my name is still not spelled right, but, you know, it's all right. <laughs> and uh, here's pictures from last year when we stayed at La Casita. 
has this little sitting area and a bigger kitchen with a real fridge. Yeah, wow. I don't know how we got the tiny one this and, time. Um, and a real yeah. stove. We don't only have a heating thing here, but it's a very nice little upstairs. You step up to the bed area. It was very got, cozy. It was nice. In a very interesting closet yeah. next to the bed. And there was the view. I was working there last year, so that was the view from my office. <laughs> it was Air pretty quotes. good. And here's the bar and Lucas, who has been um, our predominant bartender this trip and last trip, actually. And uh, there Lucas he is again. Uh, he chased down an iguana so that uh, we could see it. And um, If anyone wanted to it, hold it. Yeah, people did hold it. And here's the three bar guys all watching soccer. Here's the pretty part of the morning. Then you just go right down here. And this is the unpretty part. That's why I hate plastic. Once the wind dies down, people do pick up some of that plastic. You can see the beach is a lot more clear right at the moment. Um, this is sunrise again, not sunset here. It comes up every day. It does. It's gorgeous. That's the view from our porch. It's just so pretty. Just and a nice just, breeze all the time. And look, we really were here. <laughs> in, the, in the water, I think, too. Yeah, we were in the water. So when it's time to leave, here you go, you walk out. It's like a bye sad, bye bar, sad walk. Bye bye pool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you get to take with you a whole suitcase full of memories. <laughs> it's a great place. We really recommend staying at the Caribbean beach cabanas. They fill up. Super friendly people and Adults only. 